My name is Golan Levin. I'm the director of the Frank Ratchy Studio for Creative Inquiry. And I'm really pleased to welcome you to the first night of four in the Deep Lab lecture series. Um, I'd like to um, kind of just open up with a bit of an explanation of what, what it is this thing that you're, that you're seeing tonight. And a little bit of uh, just kind of backstory as to how this came together. Um, in uh, mid-summer of uh, 2013, Edward Snowden had just revealed um, his uh, secrets to uh, Glenn Greenwald and Laura Poitras about uh, NSA domestic surveillance. And um, obviously, this was really a uh, big kind of eye-opener for many of us. And um, I was thinking about what it would mean for arts, uh, because a big topic of arts for quite a long time has been surveillance that we sort of always knew was there, but never had never had confirmed. And um, to suddenly have it confirmed kind of altered, the, the, I think, the texture and fabric of what it would mean to be making art about surveillance and for us just generally to deal with surveillance in culture and the ever presence of it. Uh, so an opportunity arose to apply for a grant to the Andy Warhol Foundation um, to apply for artist residencies. And I, uh, along with Lori Craner, uh, professor of computer science, um, uh, conceived to imagine a series of artist residencies here at the Studio for Creative Inquiry uh, concerned with art after Snowden. Uh, and this would be quite in keeping as a collaboration between ourselves and Lori Craner's laboratory. Uh, in usable security and privacy here at CMU uh, to deal with things that were at the sort of borderline between art and technology that were atypical, interinstitutional, and anti-disciplinary. Um, and so we applied and we were very grateful to receive a grant from the Andy Warhol Foundation to bring uh, several artists to Carnegie Mellon to collaborate with our students and to collaborate with each other to kind of deal with these new themes. Um, the first artists were Kyle McDonald and Lauren McCarthy, who were here uh, and spoke in part of the School of Art lecture series in um, late August and early September. Uh, the third artists, who will be coming in January, late January and early February, are Julian Oliver and Dania Vasiliev, who are um, expert hacker artists. They'll be lecturing again as part of the School of Art lecture series on January 27th and giving a, uh, a one-day solid day workshop on practical security for the arts and culture on Saturday, January 31st. Um, but in the meantime, we now have our, our second artist in residence. And I conceived um, to invite Adi Wagenknecht, who is an American and Austrian artist uh, who's been dealing with issues of, of privacy and security, to say, what would you do? And she proposed to get a dozen of um, the baddest-ass ladies that she knew together to... Um, to sort of brainstorm what it meant to make art nowadays and to deal with, um, with culture. The exact uh, way we specified their sort of um, prompt was to deal with privacy, security, surveillance, anonymity, and big data aggregation as they are problematized in the arts, culture, and society. Uh, and so that's what we have. We have um, uh, a, a, almost essentially a dozen really truly amazing um, women who are all here. They are, they are working together this week uh, here in the studio on a combination of a book sprint, hackathon, Dugnad. They are uh, kind of charrette or micro-conference micro or congress. They are working together on uh, code and text manifestos and vis visualizations and just kind of generally steam is coming out of their ears as they're kind of collaborating and working together. Um, you'll, you'll be hearing from, from these folks very shortly. <laughs>